And until we hear someone speak words of blessing and validation into our lives, there will always be an emptiness longing to be fulfilled, a wound that needs to be healed and potential waiting to be released. And sometimes those issues are passed from generation to generation to generation. Whether you are a child or you have reached the age of maturity, we all need someone to speak blessings into our lives. We all need somebody who will claim us, love us unconditionally, and value who we are more than what we have done. He said, do not be afraid of them. In other words, don't worry about folks talking about you. For I am with you, and I will rescue you, declares the Lord. There is no greater blessing than knowing that when people who are talking negatively about you because they just can't see what God has placed within you, that you don't have to be afraid of anybody at any time because the Lord has promised not only that he's got your back, but that he's going to protect you in every situation. The painful truth is that most of us have never received this blessing from our earthly fathers. Whether you search among the rich or the poor or the famous, the infamous, the brilliantly educated or those who can barely read or write, in every place you can find boys and men who have not been affirmed by their fathers, as well as girls and women who have not been validated by their fathers. So I've come today to remind someone that God said, even if you have never laid eyes on your of earthly father, even if he was withdrawn and difficult, distant and unavailable, or too caught up in his own madness, or he died too soon, you are still blessed because God is your heavenly father. You are his heir, and you are a joint heir with Christ Jesus. So I've come to let you know God was talking about you when he spoke through the prophet Isaiah and said, Fear not. For I have redeemed you, I have called you by your name, you are mine. God was talking about you when he revealed that nothing and no one would be able to separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. God was talking about you when he said that his love for you was everlasting. He loved you before you was born. He's loving you right now through, uh, regardless of what you're going through, and he's going to keep on loving you right into eternity. God was talking about you when he revealed that all things are possible if you can just believe. In other words, there is nowhere you can't go and nothing you cannot accomplish if you just believe. God was was talking about you when he promised that you'd be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed when you come in, and blessed when you go out. God was talking about you when he spoke in 1 Peter 2 and 9 and said, but you are, you are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. You're a holy nation. You are his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of your heavenly father because he's the one who brought you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. God was talking about you.